Hello everyone, this is Shadow Dragon back with another episode of DC Universe Online. So, this is a, a price guide and we're going to be looking at the current Resurgence Mega Capsules. Um, we're currently uh, almost two weeks in. The, these launched May 27th, 2020. It is currently June 9th, so we're a couple of days uh, away from actually the two week mark. So it's roughly the halfway point. Um, I don't, obviously the prices aren't like final, but it's, they've sort of like at least settled into tiers uh, where we can kind of start grouping some types. So um, yeah, I just want to start out by showing uh, a couple of random ones that I got. Um, to the left uh, is, this is what's called the Electrum Neon. It might be a little confusing because it, it doesn't look like Electrum, if you know what that is. It, electrum is like a precious metal, um, sort of like a light gold, but it looks very much like an Ice 2.0. Um, it's the material that you see on, let's see, it's on the hood, mask, chest, uh, loincloth, and boots. Uh, the, the other items are just regular Arctic. But yeah, it goes really well with Arctic because it pretty much looks like an ice material. And then to the right on the pants, um, that's the Arctic, uh, the Arctic Camo Neon. Which is great for um, creating that Stargate suit. And then let me swap these characters out and we can look at a couple more and then we'll get into the price guide. Okay, so a couple more examples. So now to the left, that is the green hex neon. And I, I color matched the, the glow to go with um, the glowing material. So it works well with a green lantern. And then off to the right, uh, I'm going to have to zoom in on this one so you can see the detail, but this is the blue composite, so it's sort of like a carbon fiber texture. It's a bit dark, so you're, you're not going to notice this too much in combat. It'll just look good for close-ups and if you're in like a bright area. Um, it will vary a lot, like if you go into a bright area. But yeah, that, that's the material that's on the main body. Um, the, the wings and hands are, are the, the gadget's material. Okay, so let's dive into the prices. As usual, these are from the USPCPS server. So prices will vary if you're not on one of those. All right, so we're just gonna search for the word neon and that should bring up all of them. So uh, currently at the lower end of the spectrum, um, these are currently going for about five to, I would say five to nine is what you should pay for these if you really wanted them. Um, they will probably drop a bit more as we have about two more weeks to go. I, I don't see these dropping below a million uh, unless people open like a lot of them. But these are very reasonable at the moment compared to when they first went up. Because um, on, on week one there was nothing below 10. At, at least like for a long period of time. So even from launch uh, it seems like the hex ones were were sort of like lower than all of the other types and if you played around with these a lot the the hex ones they have a tendency to flatten a lot of styles so I, I imagine they probably work with less armor pieces than the others but um, yeah if, if we take a look at Sylvia with the green hex I purposely picked a style that had like some shape to it 
and it's like a mid detail uh, style that has like lines and and dots and gems but if you were to like throw that onto a slim line it would look really flat so you, you do want to pick something that's mid detail for the hex but um, it, it does I think they all look really good I, I would say there are no real bad ones in this set So if we flip through um, at the lower tier, you're going to see the three hexes. That's green, orange, and purple. Um, they will be mixed in with iridescent and quartz. So um, I'm just going to go through the pages pretty quickly. Um, iridescent is sort of like a, a good water material um, because it, it kind of changes to contrasting colors. much like the other iridescent materials that we have. Um, this one is kind of closest to the, the old blue iridescent, although it's not as deep and you, you will see like some purples in there. Don't see any quartz in there. Okay, so quartz starts to trickle in like when you get closer to the nines, when you get closer to the nine million. Um, I do not have quartz yet, actually. A at the moment, I'm not like hoarding these. I'm not. I'm not really buying a lot of them. I'm just buying and selling. So, if someone happens to sell one really low, and you you can catch these at below five million, like I'll I'll take that and try to flip it. All right. So we're getting into nine here. Once we get into ten, you're going to see the other types come in. Um, so at the 10, I would say 10 to 14, you're, you're going to see like the camos, both camos. Um, the Arctic camo is slightly higher than the regular one, but I think they're close enough that they could be in the same tier. Uh, I think the vinyls are also in here. And then we've got the pearls trickling in. Um, pearl, again, is another similar one to iridescent. Um, pearl is probably just an iridescent that's, that has a different uh, gradient. Alright, so we got neon, we got arctic neon camo both in here. And you are seeing like some of the hex in here, but don't, don't pay this much for hex. Uh, Electrum is also in on the mix. Uh, when, the, when it first launched, Electrum was actually higher, so I think that one dropped. Uh, this red composite is kind of low. Uh, we are we are starting to see the the vinyls in here. The the vinyls are like a they they follow the description. They're basically like a plastic vinyl. It's it's a good like bright comic book uh, color. So if you're going for like a Flash or a Superman suit, a, uh, blue and red vinyl are the ones for you. So we see the red one in here. Okay, so there there is another red composite in here. That one, it was kind of low. But if there's another one in here, then it's not super low. But yeah, I would say for like the, the vinyls, the camos, and pearl, um, that's the 10 to 15 million at the moment. Um, I'm hoping all these drop by two to three million by the end. Otherwise, it, it's going to be pretty hard to get these for alts because um, you know the composites especially look really good, but they're just they they kind of add up if you if you're an altaholic. Okay, so now we're going to move into the twenty million area. So we should start to see a red and blue composite and and golden. So here's, here's the first golden on page 15 for a 17. I, I will have to check that composite after I'm done with this video, if it's still around. 
because that could end up being a good bargain. As you see, a bunch of uh, red composites here for 18. The, the vinyls are also mixing up into the 20s. But uh, as we get into just 20, we're going to see probably more composites and goldens. Yeah, so maybe the tier is like a 16 to 25. And, and then as, as with most sets, you're going to have like a couple of winners that are in tiers of their own. So in, in this particular set, it's going to be, um, as I predicted, steel and black composite. And I thought those two from the beginning, before I even looked at the broker, because those are the two most neutral ones. Um, so they're going to work with pretty much any character, any power set. Um, you know, because steel is steel. There's no, there's no like tint to it. And then you just add the glow of whatever your power or character is. Uh, same case with black composite. It's pretty neutral. So I would say steel at the moment seems to be at the 50s. So there, there's a jump from like 25 to 50 just for the steel. Like I'm not even going to try to touch that until like maybe the final week just to see what the, the lowest possible price could be. Um, unfortunately, like because it's neutral, steel is the one that matches most of my characters. Like I'm trying to get like five of these. It's going to be really hard. <laughs> Unless I happen to get lucky opening them, because I'm, you know, it's it's, it's, it's going to be really hard to buy them. Um, black composite. Wow, this one actually. I think this one jumped. Because <laughs> uh, 130 is the lowest for it, unless I missed one. Um, just in case, let let me just type in. Black composites. Yeah, 130 is the lowest. Th these were probably 200 up. Uh, on the first week. But yeah, you, you sort of have a steady flow from 5 to 25, then all of a sudden it jumps to 50 for the, the steel, and then, and then to 100 for the black, black composite. Um, I, I did roll one black composite, uh, so l let me flip to that, because that, that's, that's worthy of showing. It, it, it is it is nice enough that it should be the rarest All right, one. so something I, I should mention also, like as far as uh, the frequency of these, is uh, as well as um, any, any previous resurgence, um, all of the, the drop types, the, the dropped items, have the same frequency. So, like the, the drop rate of the black composite is the same as the drop rate of like the orange hex. It's in in this case, it's the community that that determines what becomes rare. So the popular items will just get consumed more, and then the, the price hikes up. So that that's basically what we're seeing with the the steel and the black composite here. Okay, so here it is on my other account. Uh, I I film with the the premium account, so I I put it on my Sith character because um. He, he's long overdue for a redesign. There, there was no real material that matched him until this black composite came out. Um, so it's, um, it's on all but the, the hood, cape, waist, and shoulders. So the, the main parts are the black composite neon, and I have the neon set to red um, to match the furious materials that you see in the belt and the pipes. And in order to get something blacker than the black composite, um, the black composite actually looks silver, like if you go into the sunlight. But in order to get something darker, that is actually black royal. And the, the hood and cape are just one slot, so it has the, uh, the white and gold um, de deleted or removed, because it's only one slot. But uh, yeah, that's a look at the black composite. Okay, so that, that'll be it for this price guide. It'll give you an idea of where things stand. 
Um, I don't see the prices dropping drastically, as in like, you know, 50%, 60%. It's not going to be like that. It'll probably drop by a little bit. Um, and what we've seen with the rares in the past is they, they're going to drop less uh, than the others, if at all. Um, so, I, I would, in order to get those, I would try to use whatever free stabilizers you were able to get um, to try to roll them. Um, obviously, uh, if you get something you don't want, the, your best bet is to, to hold it for a, a very long time. Um, if you hold one of these for like two or three years, it's going to go from, you know, like the low end where you see the five million now, uh, it, it has potential to be a billion um, because that that's basically what happened with the original um, materials like if you look at this one this is the plain arctic material not even a chroma um, th this can go for half a billion to a billion depending on like what's listed for the day um, and the the important thing about that is like you can use that money to get something that you want currently um, so if you happen to have like one of these from the past you could sell it to get like this black composite if you really wanted the black composite. So it, it's sort of a cycle. If you keep doing that, um, you're going to be able to trade in uh, old items for new items. Okay, that is it from here. Good luck getting your neon chromas. Thanks for watching.